What's up everybody, welcome back. Back out here on the lake today, guys, doing some fishing. Fall is coming. It's cool today. It's like, I think the high today is like 70, something like that, 72. Winter's coming. Fall is definitely coming. All right, guys, let's jump out here, see what we can do today. Not sure how I'm gonna catch them. Don't know, but we're gonna figure it out. We'll see what we can do. Probably run the bottom, throw some top water, probably pretty good. Maybe here in the evening, see if we can get back in some of these little sloughs, see if we can see some some schooling bass already chasing bait, you never know. But all right, guys, let's just jump on it, see if we can't catch some fish, see what we can do. All right, guys, let's go. Let's go catch some fish. All right, guys, I'm gonna throw around a few different things today and try to figure out what it's gonna work. One of this time of year, an underspin with a well, the swim bait on it works really good. Now, this is one of those new um, Rapala Crush Cities, I think they're called, or what are they called? I think Crush Cities, what they're called. I like to cut the belly, start messing around with it, cut that belly across. It's stronger than a contact, and it's got a good look to it, matches the forge. It swims really good with this underspin. Finesse underspin, it's a Japanese underspin, I can't think of the name of it, but it looks good. It's really good. And this is a really good way to catch them when they're schooling on bait fish. And those Kitex, I was like, yeah, that's probably Gilbert though. Um, the Kitex work really well, I mean, extremely well. Not very durable, so I want to see the durability of this. I haven't caught any fish with these, and I got to kind of modify them a little bit. But I like the way they look. There's one. Ooh, I got hit right there. He hit it. Let's look at it. Ooh, I'm getting tapped. Gilberto's. Back over here. There's one. Ah, come off. Now if I threw over there, there's always bass sitting over here. He might be two inches or ten inches. Or twenty inches, you just never know, but there's always one sitting out there. Oh no! <laughs> That's when ah, the stupidity right there, guys. That's prime example of stupidity. That was a big one. That was a big one. Where I messed up there is I threw over that log. I should have threw on the side of it. And that's where weight versus log versus line. <laughs> log wins. <laughs> you know, bass doesn't win. He's got a freaking hook in his mouth down. But, uh, There we go, finally. Oh, come on, stay out there. Not very big, but freak, I'll tell you. Let's move over this way. Take him, finally, guys. All right, guys, we got one on the underspin. Crush City. Modified on the underspin. All right, all right, all right. Look at that. Nice little largemouth, actually. There might be a spot. Largemouth. Beautiful fish, let him go. Held up good with this thing too. Modified Crush City underspin combo here. Nice color. Got a bass he wanted to eat. There he is, he came back for it. Cool. See, that's what you do, guys. Get one hit, let's get this guy in the boat real quick. Good large mouth. All right, um, you get one hit like that, guys, just pause it. Let it fall out, let it act like he, he hit it and it's hurt. God, chill out, buddy. He's a wily critter. Make it act like it's dying, guys. So when he hit that, I pulled it out of his mouth. Now I just let it flutter down. 
when it fluttered down, he seen it. He just shot back over there and grabbed it. Great bass. Another bass on the swim bait. Definitely on today. Time of year. All right, guys, let's let him go. Ooh, little belly flop. Ooh, there's, there's a good one. Big one. There we go. That's a good one. I think this is a spot. Strong. It's a good spot, though. That's another largemouth. Heck yeah, two largemouth, same spot. This thing is working. They're hitting the center spin like crazy. Alright guys, we modified and changed it just a little bit. Not too much. Made a little bit thinner. Thought I'd catch a little bit better fish. Or, I mean, I might do a little bit better hookups. It's a good looking spot. It's not as big as the other one. Not so largey. Let's let him go. The other one was better. But, what's important is catching fish. Alright guys, well, it's doing pretty good. I think we're on to a pattern. Throwing the underspin. It's that time of year already. A lot of people think fall. A lot of times things happen a lot earlier than you think they do. But throwing the swim bait or underspin around, we're catching bass. Caught a couple good little large mouth. Missed quite a few. Broke off on a, a goat earlier. We're just fishing, guys. I'm going to eat a little lunch. We're going to go around the corner. We'll keep on keeping on. Appreciate y'all for watching. Check out Akuma, guys. Akuma makes good stuff. I've been fishing with Akuma for years now. Everything that I have... Fishing wise, like all my stuff, gear and stuff, is due to Akuma. They help me out and support me so much each year, and they make such great stuff. Honestly, I can say what I want to about them. Everything that I say about them is the truth. It's like the truth. If anything's messed up or anything's bad, I would say it. Everything I use is super good. All their reels are super smooth. The rods are great. Akuma makes really good fishing stuff, and I was saying that long before they were ever sponsored to me but i appreciate y'all let's keep fishing check out akuma guys they make good stuff they really do i'll keep supporting them they support me i support them great company great group of people a lot of people don't see the people behind the scenes a lot of the akuma people are great people but i appreciate y'all for watching let's keep fishing let's catch some more fish and keep on keeping on let's keep doing the understand man it's working we got plenty of daylight just keep on keeping on Oh, he grabbed it. There he is. I stopped it. He came back and grabbed it. That's why you gotta do it, boys and girls. I'm just sitting here taking it easy. I ate me a sandwich, some chips. Moved from that spot I was at over there. I fished around the corner. I didn't get nothing else. So we moved over here. <clears throat> fished this wall for a minute and then caught this little spot. Let's let him go. But he hit that thing and I just pulled it and stopped it. I knew he'd come back and grab it. Oh, that is a tank. Oh my God. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. That is a big one. Oh my God, I think I lost him. I think he come off. Oh my God. That was, that was a freaking tank. Like that was like a six pound bass. That was a freaking monster. That was big. That was like the biggest bass I've ever seen on this lake. Maybe it's just the angle, but man, that looked like an absolute tank. He was stupid strong. I was like trying to get up and give him slack. He pulled that in. Man. Uh, Salty after that one. Man, that was a big one. That was a big one. I say big sometimes. That was an actual big one, boys and girls. Big one. I pulled on that thing. I was like, man, this thing is freaking heavy. I tried to let off and just get in there so I could get closer to him. So I could get him. Nope. He's come off. It is what it is. 
let's run on down here let's keep fishing see if we can't catch more fish i appreciate y'all for watching let's keep on keeping on guys man we missed two big ones on the goat today the goat is oh and two and i mean that one was a that was a good one i mean i say that i'm like that's a big one but i was like immediately i was like this is a big one you know i was like that's a good one this is a really big one all right whatever let's keep fishing it is what it is i can sit and talk about it all day the one that got away but it don't matter you just gotta keep on keeping on that's just fishing you'll catch all the small ones all the big ones you'll just talk about them later all right guys let's keep going There we go, he had that for a second. I'm just sitting here, guys, licking my wounds for earlier, and I figure if I threw a worm through here, I'd catch it. Look at him spitting all that bait out. I figure I'd catch me a spot. That's what I did. Not a big one, but not a bad one. Another fish to add to the bucket of ones we've caught and ones we've missed. I would really like to, I would trade the ones we've caught for the ones we missed today, though, I'll be honest. You see that real, I, I would be happy giving all the fish away for that one big one, but he wasn't meant to be. This little dude was. Say hello to everybody. All right, let's let him go. He wasn't meant to be. And what's meant to be will be, and what isn't won't, and y'all know the story. You just keep on fishing. So I'm just sitting down. I've been standing up for hours, guys. It's been a long day. I've been out here. I got out here about noon. Six o'clock. So I've been here six hours. Now, granted, I chilled for a little bit. Oh, there's a bite. I haven't fished hard the entire time. I used the phone a while. I hung out for a bit earlier. No, 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 no. That's a decent one. Oh, there we go. Come on, don't come off there. That's a good one. There's a good large mouth. Yay! In the day with a good one. Chill, buddy. Had a bad day. Relax. It's been bad. It's not a bad day. It was kind of bad. I broke three hundred dollar rod. Broke, broke my rod. I lost my glasses. I found them. Caught a bass. There we go. I like that. Smell him. He smells like a bass. All right, buddy. That's a good little large mouth, man. Ain't bad. He ain't that tank I lost earlier. Good Lord. That bass is mean. Y'all see that? He said, heck no. Go away. All right, guys. Well, it's been a hoot of a day. I'm getting tired. I may keep fishing for just a minute, but not much longer. Not much longer. I'm happy, I'm salty, I'm a little bit of everything. But we caught another fish, and I'm very happy about that. Oh my god! Oh my god! Please don't come off air. That is a freaking other tank. Oh, that's a big one, guys. Oh, that is a freaking gorilla. Oh, there's a big one next to him. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad I kept fishing. Oh, that's a big spot. Get in here. Oh, no, no, we ain't getting in here. I lost him. Oh, get in here. That's a freaking tank of a spot, guys. Oh, my God, look at that spot. He had a huge one with him. Glad I kept fishing. Dude, that is a freaking spot. Look at that spot. Holy cow. This one's picture worthy. It's going in the live way. I'm taking pictures with this dude. All right, guys. Well, we redeemed ourselves for the giant largemouth we lost earlier and caught a freaking stud of a spot. That is a stud. I'm going to take a picture and talk to him. Oh, my goodness. This is a great one. Look at the size of this spot. Man, that is a turk. That's a big spot, guys. A 
I see them busting over here. Every time I pull out the camera, they start busting around. Look at the size of that spot. Woo! That made up for breaking my rod. Bingo! And lose that big bass earlier. At least we caught a tank of spot. It's cooler to catch these big spots, I guess, because they get rare out here sometimes. You can catch them, though. They're big ones. This is a good one. This is like three and a half. Almost a four. Man, it's a good one. All right, guys, let's let it go. That's definitely like a close pushing four right there. That's a good one. All right, let's let it go. That's a strong spot, too. See ya. Cool, too. I caught him on top of water. That makes it even more cool. Bingo, bango. Like that. Like that. Hit a couple with him. We had another big one with him. Three. I was in the three half four. Caught fours, I know it. Caught bigger. Caught much bigger than I caught one, I guarantee it was a five. The one with a belly on it from last year. Maybe I'll throw a picture of it in right now. You can see the belly on me in that picture, but that was a big freaking spot. Oh, big. That was a five pounder, man. That was a big one. There he is. Oh, decent. Oh, it's a good one, guys. It's a good one. Finally, a good largemouth. Sorry, guys. I'm being lazy. I'm just tired. That's a decent fish. That's a decent largemouth. Look at that, dude. That's a good one. Overall, today, guys, we've actually caught some good bass. That's a good large one. Kyle, he's got sharp teeth. All right, guys. Got him off. He slipped out of my hands. There's stuff on my boat. My boat's dirty because it's from camping. That's a good large one. I'm going to take a little picture with him. He's not giant. Not as good as that spot. But... All right, guys. Nice bass. Not a bad one by any means. Let him go. That's actually turning out. We're catching some fish. I'm being lazy. I'm tired, so I'm sitting down. But we've grinded today. We've caught fish today. We've we've had heartache today. We've missed bigs. We had a huge bass come off earlier. I mean a big. We broke a very pricey rod <laughs> upwards in the hundreds of dollars range. By our own fault. Because we're stupid with a drilling motor. Man, I am tired, guys. I'm tired. It's been a long day. I've been out here. Six, seven, eight, eight hours. And I fished probably about six of those hours, though. So it's been it's been a rough day, but we've had a lot happen today. We missed a huge bass. That was a big one. That one come on. I'm telling y'all guys, that was a big bass. We had another one come off before that. We broke like a over two hundred dollar Akuma rod. This is a great rod too, and it just not in the trolling motor. There ain't nothing worse. It. It'll happen to you. If you get a boat, trolling motor gets turning. When them line hits it, pow! That rod will take off and just pop that thing. It happens, guys. But and then we come back down here, caught a huge spot, another good large mouth, I got another decent large. I don't know. We've caught quite a few fish today. It's not been bad. Used the underspin at first, caught quite a few fish on it, then start throwing the goat, caught fish on that thing. That thing always does good. But I appreciate y'all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. And I'll be back real soon to make another video. Get outside, enjoy the warm weather. To see that right there, fall is coming. Trees are turning. It's already starting to happen. So get out, guys. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy summertime. What's left of it? I appreciate y'all. I'll be back real soon to make another video. Y'all guys, take it easy. See y'all.